Hi guys, this is Pallavi from The Cures Jalebi. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I shampoo, deep condition, style and diffuse my hair from start to finish with detailed steps so you guys can watch along and learn. Um, I realized with the voiceovers, I was missing out on a lot of stuff that I was actually covering my blog posts and Instagram but not everybody reads that. Um, so I hope this video helps you to understand what you need to do for your hair and why I do the steps that I follow in the routine. Um, if you can see my hair actually this is day 3 hair so it's gotten a lot like straighter and flatter and it's very humid so there's a lot of extra frizz which is completely normal. Like a lot of you guys come after following the routine come to me and tell me that it starts to get starts to look frizzy on day 2 and day 3 that's completely normal the more days you go away from your routine the frizzier it will get the flatter it will get when it's just too limp it's it means that you need to wash again okay and uh, for the days in between those wash days there are ways to refresh your hair and protect it at night for both I have videos on my channel that you guys should check out but either way even with those steps your hair is going to get flatter and limper as the days progress and then when that happens it's time to wash again okay so today I'm going to shampoo deep condition uh, which I normally do once a week when I'm not feeling lazy and then I'm going to style and then diffuse so it's going to be a long video so grab a cup of coffee and get ready to see uh, in detail what exactly I do to get results that you see on my Instagram and on my blog post. So I've just washed my hair uh, with just water for now and next I'm going to use the Pantene Lively Clean Shampoo. This is not a CG shampoo, this is a clarifying shampoo which means that uh, it has sulfates, you know the ingredient that lathers up and uh, foams and makes you feel really nice but that's not really allowed in a CG friendly routine because it also actually dries up your hair and uh, the reason you use it is uh, before you start CG right before you start so that all the previous build up of the conditioners that you've used all the products all that goes away this shampoo will lift up oil dirt everything and even the silicones that are there in conditioners um, silicones are not allowed in a CG friendly routine right so before you start CG this is the shampoo you do one last shampoo with and then afterwards uh, in your CG routine once in a while some people do it once a month some people do it once a week if you have baby hair uh, you should clarify at least once a week or once in two weeks because uh, most babies find that clarifying brings back the bounce that they have for especially because wavy hair falls flatter faster so clarifying is a really nice way to get some life into the waves again if you have curly hair you don't need to clarify as often once a month also is fine But yeah, so now I'm going to go wash this off and then I'll show you the deep conditioner that I'm applying today. Okay guys, so I rinsed it off completely which takes a while because since it's a clarifying shampoo and all that lather takes time to, uh, you know, completely rinse out of your hair. But I now I'm going to deep condition. In a normal routine, like when I'm not deep conditioning, I will use a simple conditioner. Because I'm deep conditioning, I'm just replacing my conditioner with a deep conditioner the difference between conditioning and deep conditioning is um, not a lot like it's basically both smoothen and uh, flatten your hair strands cuticles so that they do not frizz up and uh, a conditioner is a lighter product a deep conditioner is more intensive and more rich okay if you guys have just started on your journey please deep condition regularly and once a week because it's going to you know accelerate your uh, transitioning time into healthier hair faster but today i'm going to use my one of my favorite deep conditioners which is the rockin uh, moisture me clay hair, ma uh, hair mask and i haven't used this in a very long time but it's by far one of my favorite 
uh, hair masks that I've found. I will leave the links on where you can get it in India from, so don't worry. Thankfully, there's a lot of products now that you can get in India, even international ones, without needing to worry about customs and other things like that. So, yeah. So, um, this is how the mask is. It's red and very creamy. So, I'm going to spread it in my hands like this. And then I'm going to smooth it on my hair. I often recommend that you section your hair since I don't have a lot of hair I can just do it into two sections and then apply enough product on each but if you have very thick hair three to four sections is completely fine. Um, another mistake that I see beginners making is the amount of conditioner or deep conditioner in bottles when they say a small dollop no, dollop? dollop not dollop dollop uh, it doesn't mean that you actually for curly hair that will work you need a large amount of conditioner as the hair gets better that amount reduces but generally uh, in order to make sure when you detangle your hair next you don't have a lot of breakage you want to have a conditioner first of all which is very slippery and creamy or a deep conditioner which is slippery and creamy and then you apply enough of it so that when you comb you do not have a lot of breakage You can let your conditioner be in your hair for a while. Don't forget the crown. You can also use DIY hair masks, okay? Um, just take a conditioner, put a drop of, a few drops of oil, and a spoon of honey, and that works great. Banana, yogurt, honey, that works great curd honey little bit of uh, what no curd and honey also really works uh, works really well so there are a lot of diy hair masks that you can also do i personally am very lazy that i prefer a store bought mask and um yeah so and diy masks cannot replace a store store bought mask okay um i would recommend you do have a store bought mask at least to use once in a while even if you don't want to uh, use it every time you deep condition but yeah so next I'm going to detangle my hair very gently. I'm going to first take my fingers and run it through like this. Be gentle. I don't recommend you wash your hair unless you have a lot of patience or you're willing to like just yank through your hair because uh, since we don't comb our hair every day it does get tangled up and it's important to detangle it properly before you style your hair. If you're somebody who has a lot of tangles and breakage, you can, uh, before shampooing, apply some oil in your hair and uh, either use your fingers or a detangling brush that I will show you next uh, to simply brush out your hair with oil before you shampoo that doesn't mean you can do that every day it just means you can do that before shampooing to uh, reduce the tension on the hair strands when the hair is wet because that is when it is weakest so that is also a way to reduce breakage inside the shower and for a lot of people who say that their hair fall has increased with CG uh, please understand that uh, you lose 50 200 hair strands a day normally as a normal human being that's how much you normally use lose and when you start a CG routine you do not comb your hair every day right you comb it twice a week if you're washing it twice a week so all that unshed hair which is trapped suddenly comes out when you're showering and combing so you suddenly feel like it's a lot so just if that happens I would suggest you reduce your wash the days between your wash days and you will see that your hair fall or hair breakage as you say it has reduced so yeah so next you take a white tooth comb start from the bottom go up hold your the stand of your hair tightly so that it doesn't yank my mother used to do this uh, when I was young with some oil because it would hurt when she would dry detangle all the time she would comb my hair every day she didn't know that you're not supposed to do that for curly hair 
and the only way that the pain would decrease when she was yanking was like you hold it really tightly and then you go from each other. Just something to try out if you guys have kids who need to like get combed every day. When it gets slightly tougher to detangle go and drench your hair in water again or do it under the flow of the shower the flow of the water sort of makes it easier to detangle i can't do it right now because i can't shoot inside the bathroom right so i have not washed my hair in 4 days and this is the amount of hair fall that i have i know a lot of you guys are icky about it but a lot of you are when you guys send me dms about the amount of hair for you losing i have to tell you that it's normal yeah it is normal if it's if your hair fall is too much go see a dermatologist stat okay there's no shampoo or conditioner that will reduce hair fall unless your internal nutrition your hormones all of that are working fine Okay, so this is the brush that I was talking about. This is uh, the Curl Keeper Flexi brush. It's a detangling and styling brush. For example, uh, as compared to the Denman, which is only a styling brush, you cannot detangle with the Denman, but you can do both with this brush. And I love how soft the bristles are, and it's so flexible, hence the Flexi, uh, that it doesn't yank on your hair while you comb it. Okay, so now. is already like curling up better Now, um, because I have deep conditioned, <clears throat> I'm going to keep this on my hair for around 20 to 30 minutes. 15 is minimum, 30 to 40 is usually the, like, the best uh, of the con deep conditioning that you can get. You either take a rubber band or a clip, tie it on top and then you... Take a shower cap and you put it over your hair. Now, honestly, a plastic bag also works. That's what I used to do in the hostel when I didn't have a shower cap. But a shower cap, a proper shower cap also works. This is a cholesterol shower cap. It's old. I don't think it works like that anymore. But a lot of them, uh, cholesterol caps will uh, create some heat inside after you put it on. So if you guys want some extra benefits with uh, deep conditioning, you can also get a thermal heat cap. Or a hot head that's called outside it's basically a thick cap filled with flax seeds and you keep it inside the microwave for like a minute or a minute and a half so that it heats up and then you apply it over your hair and yeah so I'm gonna do this for 15 minutes wash my hair and then show you how I style okay guys so I have rinsed out the deep conditioner completely and it's time to style now normally I would apply a leave-in conditioner which is a product that is moisturizing like conditioner but it's safe to leave inside your hair and uh, add on a gel but today I'm going to show you uh, my results with the kinky curly custard um, a lot of babies love it and I was sent this uh, custard by naturally you and me to try and review I love the results with this this was the same custard that I wore for the Curly Girl Meet that I had recently with uh, Deepika from Desi Curly, Soumya, Deepak uh, from Lux Privé, the Claridges. I am going to have an uh, album on my Facebook page. There's already details about it on my Instagram, so you guys should check it out and uh, wait for news for the next one that's going to come soon. Uh, so yeah, this is the custard. It is very slimy, okay? Like it's... 
it's thick but it's very slimy it reminds me of like a really thick flaxseed gel and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small amount okay you can if you have very curlier hair than mine put a leave-in conditioner first and then apply this okay I I have found that for my slightly 3a 3b hair that this custard works really well so yeah okay so I'm gonna smooth it on my hair it's also called praying hands method okay take some more for the other side Make sure you don't leave any section, right? Especially the crown, you want it to hold your hair against, you want to hold your hair against at a diagonal. Put it at an angle and then smooth it. Otherwise you're going to have, see, crown frizz, right? So I'm going to now just simply comb it through, okay, and style. I would also also recommend that you style your hair on when it's wet not when it's damp when it's wet enough from the shower because you will find the products smooth on easier and you have a lot less frizz when it dries okay so now I'm gonna take a little bit of the cream the custard again in my hand I'm going to upturn my head like this I hope you can see it okay and then just scrunch up okay is that squelchy noise that you want to hear if it's not coming spray on some water and then do it This is called scrunching. It encourages the curl pattern. It removes excess amount of uh, leave-in conditioner, curl cream, gel, whatever you have applied. I'm gonna now diffuse my hair. I have a separate video on how to diffuse, but I prefer that over air drying because I don't like traveling in the metro with wet hair and it's snagging on my bag handles and stuff like that. Plus, because it's so humid, when you go out with wet hair, the chance of you it getting frizzier when it dries is higher. So I use a diffuser, dry up, uh, use like 30 minutes of my life bending with a hair dryer, but it's worth it. Okay guys, so this is uh, how it looks after it's been fully air dried. Uh, it is very crunchy and it's supposed to be like that. A lot of you tell me that your hair becomes crunchy after the routine. The gel is what creates a cast and makes it stiff. The point is to remove the cast by a process called uh, scrunch out the crunch or SOTC. So what you need to do is basically take any light oil that you have or you can also do it just with your hands. Some people I know prefer to do SOTC without any oil. Uh, otherwise, in order to avoid any frizz, you can take any oil that you have. I'm actually out of my favorite oils. So I'm just using uh, soul flower argan oil that I have lying around. Basically, you take some, rub it in your palms and then you scrunch out the gel cast. You should also fluff out the roots so that your hair is not lying flat on the scalp. Now depending on the weather and the products you use, there will be, uh, there will always be some frizz but depending on the products you use it will be less or a lot since right now considering it's humid weather so I have slightly more frizz but that's okay, a little bit is fine. So this is how it looks now. It's become a lot more fluffy and soft to touch. Still defined but without that wet dog look that was there earlier. I usually part my hair the opposite way of how I've styled it. 
otherwise for like photographs because my hair is black a lot of times you don't see the definition and the curls so for photographs I flip it to one side and then show the curls like this and yeah that's it Thank you.